Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. There is a lot that goes into milling high quality lumber. Sure, you can throw a log on a mill and run it through, but you might not end up with the dimensions that you were looking for. As it turns out, it takes a lot of knowledge and expertise to mill high quality lumber, even with a high tech computer like mine. I found that out last week when Mr. Noah came by and adjusted our mill. There was so much that needed to be adjusted and now I'm running it for the first time and boy is it doing a lot better. I want to show you guys that today. So without further ado, let's get into the video. If you guys haven't seen our video on how to align your mill, it's a really good one for any mill owner because boy is there a lot to it. More than I ever would have known if it weren't for Mr. Noel who came by last week and adjusted and aligned our mill and tried to walk us through how to do it ourselves. Good thing Grandpa was there because I don't know if I was able to catch it all. At least I have the video to look back on. But now it's been adjusted quite a bit. And uh, <laughs> let me just say the quality lumber coming off of this mill now is a lot better than it was. So the dimensions are actually right. We are having trouble um, with just not it just wasn't cutting the right dimensions. It wasn't cutting what the computer said it was cutting. There's a lot to it. You guys can go and watch that video. Near the end there was when we fixed that problem. And it's actually quite a simple fix once you know what you're doing. But now we have a very large order that just came in. He decided to go with us. He was looking at maybe getting it some other places, but decided to go with us even though we were a little bit more expensive. And now we have 16 foot logs on the deck here that we've been milling up, trying to get this order done. It's probably not gonna be done today. Maybe by the end of the week, I'm hoping. So that's what we have to test it on today. Um, and, and we already cut just one or two logs yet this morning, but it's still pretty early in the morning, so we have a while to go. I'm going to roll on this next log here, and we'll get to cutting.
Hey guys, Jade here. What you're seeing is a real-time video of what it looks like to cut a 16-foot log. And you may not know just how challenging it can be to deal with a log this long. Me being the swamper, I deal with everything that comes off of the log. So from the slab to the flitch, and then of course the finished product, I have to deal with all of that. And of course, my saving grace is the roller tables because I can limit how much I lift and pull around all of these really heavy, long pieces of wood with these roller tables and that can really help because it is not easy, I'll tell you that. So you can see me there on the end, I'm just doing my thing, tossing around all of the boards. And, you know, if you've never done this yourself, then you might not realize just how challenging it is. I definitely throw around a couple swear words every now and then throughout the day, but hey, I mean, what else do you expect? We got two four by six by 16s out of that log and I wanted just to double check to make sure that these dimensions are right. And it looks like, looks like they are absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm very pleased with how this mill is running now. 
I feel a little bit bad for Jade, all these 16 footers. It's not fun. This mill hardly fits them. Uh, trying to get the drag backs back far enough to catch the piece and uh, pull it off is kind of tricky because then if I push it down farther so I have more room on my end, then I have trouble getting the blade in and I'm so far away from it that it's hard to see. So cutting long stuff is tricky. We don't do it very often, it's custom, but if a person wants a 16 footer, we always say yes. So that leads us to here where, where we are with things lots of 16 footers he needs two more of these a bunch of two by eights bunch of two by sixes but we'll probably get all the 16 foot material um, out of the way monday today right so the rest of the week we don't have to worry about it anyways i think that that about wraps it up for today's video i hope you enjoyed guys if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already also check out our merch shop just give it a look over we have a bunch of awesome t-shirts i know i always say it handmade mugs our own coffee line you got to try our coffee if you haven't other than that we'll see you back here next time bye guys